Nissan Skyline GTR BN R32. Mercedes Unimog 1300. Tricera truck. Too tough. Nineteen eighty four Audi Sport Quattro Batmobile Nineteen forty nine Volkswagen Beetle pickup, nineteen eighty eight Honda CRX. Wheelie chair. Twenty eighteen Copo Camaro SS nineteen sixty seven Jeepster Commando. Muscle bound. Octane. Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. Land Rover Series 3 Pickup. Diaper Dragger. Hyper Rocker. Heavy Hitcher. Grupo X24 I believe Slide Kick Her bone charged. Nineteen 
1996 Porsche Carrera. Robo Race Robocar. McLaren Senna. Skyboat. Twenty eighteen Honda Civic Type R Tesla Model Three Diora Three. Custom 2018 Ford Mustang GT nineteen ninety one Mazda MX five Miata Twenty nineteen Ford Ranger Raptor Roger Dodger two point oh Nineteen sixty four Nova Wagon Gasser twenty nineteen Mercedes Benz A Class Runway Rescue. Twenty sixteen Lamborghini Centenario Roadster Chrysler Pacifica Twin Mill Gen E Audi RS five Coupe. Hologram. Twenty eighteen Bugatti Chiron Alpine A one ten Aston Martin Vulcan Jaguar XE SV Project Eight Moto Wing Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo Electro Silhouette Mod Rod Range Rover Velar 
We'll start it off with the Baja Blazers series, and the first one is the 2020 Jeep Gladiator, which first came in this nice looking red color. It's got the motorbikes in the back. It's got some nice race stance on it with those big wide wheels and fenders. We're gonna start that one off just right at the top right there. This one is the recolored variation of it. It's kind of like a tan army style color. I actually quite like it, it's pretty neat looking. And that one will be our first recolor. Next car we have is the Geoterra. So Geoterra, brand new Hot Wheels casting, also from the Baja Blazer series. This is the light blue color that was originally released in. And then it was recolored in this one right here, which I don't have to show you at the moment. And next up from the Batman series, this is Batplane, a brand new casting. It's kind of like a static model look casting for it. A little bit of an odd Hot Wheels casting. So we'll throw that one up there here. And that one was recolored in this gray color. It's the first recolor of this Batplane from the Batman series. And moving on to the Experimotor series, the first one we have is the Clip Rod. And this was a really interesting casting that has this little clip right here, which you can clip onto your shirt or a piece of paper or something like that. It's a really interesting, unique new casting from Hot Wheels. So we'll go ahead and throw that one just right up there. And that one was recolored in this one right here. So the clip is just a different color for it. Again, just such a unique new casting for 2020. Next, also from Experimotor, Motors is the Rockin' Santa sleigh and you can see this one has a little Santa Claus in there and this is supposed to be some sort of sleigh that it's delivering presents so it's kind of a unique new designed casting we'll throw that one just right there and that one was recolored in this one right here and you can see it's got this gold chrome on there whereas that one had the silver chrome on there so that's the major difference with this one and our last one from the Experimotor series is the Speed Driver and you can see this one's got Got like some sort of wrench on there and you can actually use this as a real life wrench so if you have something that fits this you can wrench with this Hot Wheels car so it's a very unique design Hot Wheels car and that one was recolored in this yellow color right here as you can see so same type of wrenchness that it's got to it very unique design let's go ahead and put this one right up here and we'll throw it right there on our board and next up from the Factory Fresh series, we've got the Audi R8 Spider. It's a model year of 2019 in the 2020 series. So 2019 Audi R8 Spider, great detail. Love this white colored variation that they came out with it. We'll go ahead and throw that one up there. And that one was recolored in late 2020 in this red color for it. So you can see a very, very nice looking, sharp, shiny, glossy red color that it was released in for its first recolor. And another factory fresh is the 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible. This is a very, very cool looking fresh new casting from Hot Wheels. So we'll go ahead and throw that one up right there beside the Audi. And this one was also recolored in this color right here. You can see it's got the gray wheels as opposed to the blacked out ones. And again, just a fantastic designs car. Great looking detail on the front and rear of this one. I can't wait to see more recolors of this this one maybe in 2021. Another factory fresh release is the Kia Stinger GT and this one is in blue and if you guys watch my race videos this is one that is the fastest car down my Hot Wheels track. It was only recently beat by another one. You have to check out those videos to see which is the new fastest car. But the Kia Stinger GT, such a great looking new casting. And that one was recolored in this kind of glossy gray color right here, which looks really, really cool. This one was not nearly as fast as the blue one down the track, oddly enough. But still, just a great looking designed car. And I'm sure we're gonna get more recolors of it in 2021. And our last car from the factory fresh series is the Land Rover Defender 90. Check this one out in this red release. It's got these kind of highlighted white wheels on there, black big tires on there. And then we've got the spare tire on the back of it. A really, really cool design. I was really excited when this one came out. We have not gotten any new recolors of that one yet, but I'm sure we will get one very, very soon. Moving on to our next series is Fast Foodie. And we have the Donut Drifter, which 
which is first released in this one right here, which has a blue wing and uh, like a little blue guy in there. And you can see the uniqueness of this casting because it's got this sprinkly donut all around it. So just a, a really cool new fantasy casting. And that one was later recolored in this one right here, which is a pink variation. So it's kind of got like the girl and boy vibe for it. Or if you want, could be anything else you want to be. But really, really cool. Love this new casting. My kids really, really like this casting, oddly enough. Next up from the Honda series, it's the 1998 Honda Prelude. And this is the original release of it. It's gray with a red interior, chrome wheels, and a really, really nicely designed car. We'll go ahead and throw that one right beside Donut Drifter. And it was recently recolored in this blue colored variation of it, also with the chrome wheels, this time with the black interior. Still looks really, really great. I personally prefer this blue color over the original release though. And our first one from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage series is the 2Jet Z. And this one was the winner of the Hot Wheels Legends Tour. So they made this real life car into a Hot Wheels casting. So really, really neat that they've done that. And it's a very unique looking car that was done. So we'll go ahead and throw that one up there. And it was later recolored in this blue variation, as you can see right here, blacked out wheels on this one. Nice looking design. I actually prefer the blue color as opposed to the original one. And then next from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage, we've got the Mattel Dream Mobile. Very, very unique looking cool design car. Kind of looks like an old classic car, which it kind of is and then made into a Hot Wheels casting. So we'll go ahead and throw that one right up there beside 2Jet Z. One of my favorite series is the Hot Wheels Exotic series. And the first one released was the 2017 Lamborghini Urus in this yellow colored variation, which I absolutely love. Yellow is my favorite color. So I really, really like the Urus, especially in this yellow. We'll go ahead and throw that one right up on the board. And then next we had another Hot Wheels Exotics. It is the McLaren Speedtail. There it is. And this is the first color release of it in blue. And this one you can see uniquely has two different wheels on there and that's just made to look like real life as they have the aerodynamic cover on the front of the McLaren Speedtail. So very, very cool. And we'll throw that one just right up there. There we go. And then the next one from the Hot Wheels Exotic Series, one of the most popular new release castings this year, it's the Koenigsegg Jesco right there. There we go. Nice one looking in this kind of silverish sparkly color chromed out wheels, just a fantastic looking cool designs car. And we'll go ahead and throw that one up on the board. And none of the Hot Wheels Exotics series cars were recolored, although they are getting recolored in the 2021 series. And moving on to the Hot Wheels Hot Trucks series, it's the 1999 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. And this one is a really cool looking design. And we actually did get this one as a premium release in 2020, but this is the first to the main lines. And it's a great looking detailed, very, very nicely designed Hot Wheels car. And I'm super excited to get this one in the Hot Wheels lineup. So we'll go ahead and put that one right beside the Koenigsegg. And then our next truck that we had was the GMC Cyclone model year is a 1991 and this is the first release of it in black and I really really like this one in black it's got the little Cyclone logo on the side nice looking logos and stuff all on the rear end as well and these wheels I think just suit it absolutely perfectly so we'll put that right beside the lightning right there and that one was recolored in this red colored variation of it which I also think looks really really good it's also got those logos just on the side and the back but I personally prefer the black release of it so we'll go ahead and put that one aside and then next from the Hot Wheels Hot Truck series is the 2020 Dodge Ram 1500 Rebel that was released. And this is a really cool, aggressive looking design truck from the front. You can see the Ram right there and it's got that cool big sunroof, nice look, looking hood and all of that. And we're on the back, you can see it's got the Ram logo and the Rebel right there as well. It's a really cool looking Ram truck. So we'll go ahead and throw that right beside the trucks. And then our last truck for the Hot Wheels Hot Truck series is the Eric Stein rod and I was just a huge fan of this one that came out here and I really really like the color specifically of the chrome on here it's like a titanium looking chrome as you can see right there which looks really 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 cool and it's just a very well designed looking truck and we'll go ahead and throw that one 
just down there. And that one was recolored as well. This is your recolor of the Erkenstein rod, as you can see. And they kept that titanium look chrome, just a different colored truck though all around, but just a fantastic looking casting. Super, super happy and excited to get this one. And moving on to the Hot Wheels Metro series, we've got the Total Disposal. And this is one of my favorite new fantasy casting releases. As you can see, it's a little garbage truck, which looks kind of like squashed. So it's got like a very, very slim profile to it. We've got bigger wheels on the back, smaller ones on the front. Just a cool looking, happy garbage truck right there. So Total Disposal which we'll just throw in right down there. And then the total disposal was recolored in this one right here. You can see it's got a green back as opposed to the blue one. And this one has a white front as opposed to the yellow front on the other one. So neat looking casting, cool looking recolor of it as well. And then we had one of the coolest new casting, which a lot of fans all over are of. It is the Road Bandit, which is uh, officially called the Jeepney, I believe in the Philippines. So a lot of people pointed that out when I first unboxed this one and it was an early 2020 release car. And this one's the yellow variation of it. So we'll go ahead and put that one right beside Total Disposal. And then that one was recolored in this one right here. And it's a red looking recolor for it. Different colored wheel on the back and it's a different one on the front, just like the other one as well. But just a really, really cool looking new designed car for 2020. And then also from the Hot Wheels Metro series, we have the Local Motrin and it's it's like a Thomas the Train car basically. That's essentially what it is. It's Thomas the Train. You can see Thomas right up there. Thomas the Train made his way to Hot Wheels and I'm sure this casting has just been very very popular with all the Thomas the Train fans. So definitely a cool looking one and we'll throw that one just right down there. And to start off the other side of our wall right here is the Hot Wheels Race Day Formula E Gen 2 car. This is our first release of this one and Formula E is becoming very popular in real life and it's cool to see Hot Wheels join in and release some cars for them. So there is our first release of it, which we'll go ahead and start it just right up there. And then we did get a recolor of it right here. There's our first recolor of the Formula E Gen 2 car. It's kind of got like a a white base on there and it's kind of got like a cool looking top on there. Nice looking designed car though. Also from the Hot Wheels race day series is the Volvo 850 Estate. This is the first release of it in white and I was a big fan of this casting when it first came out. I think it's well designed and it's just kind of a unique looking car to come to Hot Wheels and it's it's nice when they do unique looking cars like for example the Kia Stinger GT which we never thought would come to Hot Wheels and it did and everyone was a big fan of it. So Volvo 850 Estate just like that and then we also got this one which is the recolor of it as well and this one's got big chrome wheels on there. Pretty much the same design just in a different color but I think this one looks really neat as well. And moving on to the Hot Wheels Race Day series, we've got the Grand Cross. And this is a cool looking fantasy casting. And it kind of looks like, almost like a Lamborghini Urus crossed with a car of some sort. It's just, it's kind of a unique looking design. I like the open roof that you can see on it. A nice open design, cool looking car. It's got the big Hot Wheels graphics for the Hot Wheels race team just all down the side. And then that one was recolored in this matte gray finish to it. Also with all the Hot Wheels logoing and stuff down the side and nice looking wheels on this one. We'll throw the blue one just right up there beside the Volvo 850. Moving on to the Hot Wheels Rescue Series, we've got the Alpha Pursuit and this is like a, a fantasy police car as you can see it looks very very futuristic you can see in the design right there police all just on there and it's in a nice matte gray finish kind of like a light matte gray finish but I think it looks really really cool and I'm excited to see new color variations of this one right here we'll go ahead and put that beside the Grand Cross from the Hot Wheels Ride On series, and I was super excited to get this one. It is the Pixel Shaker. So it's a bone shaker, but it's pixelized, as you can see right there. So really, really cool looking design. Kind of looks like a Minecraft car. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that one just right on our first row right there. And then it was recolored in this red colored variation, as you can see. So very, very similar design, just all in red and different colored wheels on there as well. Hot Wheels Screen Time Series. This is the first of the Fast and Furious release, Astana 
Hato. So it's from the Fast and Furious Spy Racers Netflix series, and there's gonna be many more different cars coming out from that series in 2021. We've already seen one so far, but this is the first one that we got, and we'll go ahead and throw that one up there. And then we also did get this one right here, which is the Ion Motors Threshor, also from the Fast and Furious Spy Racers series. And it's this looks kind of like a muscle car of some sort, but really, really neat looking car. And I'm sure we'll get more recolors of that one coming soon. And then from the Hot Wheels screen time, we also got this one right here, which is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Party Wagon. And wow, I was just super, super happy and excited to get this casting when it finally was released because I was a big Ninja Turtles fan growing up and it was really cool to see this one come into the main lines. There are uh, premium releases of this one that have come out and are coming out, but this mainline variation, I think it's really, really nice. And moving on to the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series, it's the Nissan Silvia S13. You can see this nice looking gray colored release. I like the mesh wheels on there. Cool looking graphics on the side. And a lot of my JDM fans will really, really like this one. If you haven't found it yet, definitely try to get your hands on that one. And it was recolored in this one right here. As you can see, kind of got like the gold trim and the gold siding on there. Just an all around great looking design car. Really, really like this one. And next for the Hot Wheels Turbo Series, we have the Subaru Impreza 22B STI version. And this one was an early 2020 release, but I'm a big fan of these Subarus, especially in this blue color with the gold wheels. I think it looks so, so cool. And I was just a big fan of these growing up as a kid. And this was one of my favorite new castings for the 2020 series. So we'll go ahead and put that right beside the Nissan right there. And this one also did come out as a recolor in this one right here. It's kind of like a burgundy type color with gold wheels on there. So same sort of casting. I'm not a big fan of this color personally. I prefer that blue color. This one also did come in a Zamac edition as you can see right here. I don't actually have that one yet, but it's a pretty cool looking one nonetheless. Moving on to the Muscle Mania series, we have the 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. And this one was a very, very popular one when they announced it and when it finally released and it does not disappoint. Great looking casting overall. Love the color, love the stripes on there. Very Shelby-esque and those blacked out wheels look great to go with it. We'll put that right behind the Subaru right there. And then we did have the 1984 Pontiac Firebird right here. There we go. Kind of a, uh, an interesting one to have released and wasn't really one that I was expecting. Um, I wouldn't say it was like a super popular car um, in the 80s, but uh, when they made it into the Trans Am variation and all that, then I think it became a lot more popular. I do like the T-tops on there. I love T-top cars, so I think that's really cool. And I'm sure we'll get more color variations of this one as well in the future. So we'll go ahead and put that one behind the Mustang right there. And then moving on to our next series is the Nightburners. And we first have the Bentley Continental GT3. It's a 2018. And as you can see it right here in this nice looking green color, I really like the graphics and everything on the side of it. Although slightly disappointing that there's not much tampa work or anything stamped on the front end right there or on the back end. Liking the big spoiler and stuff on it. Great looking, I think from the side just it's just the front and where it's a little bit weird and disappointing looking but other than that nice looking car overall then we had the 1996 chevrolet impala ss chevrolet impala ss i said that a little bit wrong there but there we go we have it in the black colored variation and that's the original color of this car in real life and i think it's a good looking casting overall i mean there's not really much you can put into insane details on this car it's a kind of a plain looking car overall in real life but they did get it pretty good it does have the impala ss written just on the back right there. And I'm not too sure if this ever came out in a new color variation, if it would look really good or not. I think just the black release is just a good one. I think they should just leave it at that. And then we did have the 1989 Mazda Savannah RX-7 FC3S. And this one I was a big fan of when it came out. Looks really, really cool. I like the aggressive 
front end on it. Very glossy red mesh wheels. Nice looking details on the rear end of it. Just a great casting overall and I'm looking forward to more color variations of that one. And also from the Nightburner series, we have the Porsche 914 Safari Edition. So it's a 914 kind of raised up with all different types of safari gear and stuff like that on there. So it's meant to go off-roading. So definitely an interesting one. I don't know about it being in the Nightburner series. Maybe this might've been better in the Baja Blazers series of some sort, but still nonetheless, it's a cool looking Porsche. And a lot of people were big fans of that one when it first came out. And one of the craziest looking new castings this year, it is Surf's Up. And this is basically like an imitation water down below here with a surfboard and a surfer on there. And then of course it's got the wheels on there. And the surfer guy does come off. You can pull him right off or he can just kind of wedge right into those little stands right there. And this one was part of the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 series, which obviously the Olympic Games never happened, didn't exist. So unfortunately this casting kind of, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to ever come out with it again in different colors or anything like that, but definitely a unique looking casting. And um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it. I actually think it's kind of a fun little new unique like look to a Hot Wheels casting. So we'll go ahead. We'll put this one aside since it's not going to fit on the board right there. And our next one is the 1989 Porsche 944 Turbo. There it is. Very glossy red. Very, very nice looking. I'm liking these chrome wheels on there. I think they'll look great. Nice looking detail on the back. And then it does have the pop-up headlights in real life, so you don't see any tamper work or anything, nothing needed, but good detail all around. Very, very cool looking car. We'll go ahead and throw that one up on the board right there. And that one did get recolored in this, which kind of looks like a, like a light gold color car to it. So it got a little bit of sparkle to it. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of this color, but I do like these wheels. I would have liked to see these wheels maybe on the red one right there. But nonetheless, uh, it's cool to get different new colors of Hot Wheels castings and hopefully we'll see another recolor of that one in 2021. Moving on to the Rod Scrod series, and this one was one of the coolest new releases of 2020. It's the Big Air Bel Air. So it's kind of like a, a Chevy Bel Air that's all raised up with different suspension, and it's kind of like uh, like rat rotted out. So it's kind of like meant to look a little bit hardcore. We'll go ahead and throw that one just right up there. And we did get a recolor of that one in this white color, which I think look, looks really neat. I like it. It's like a matte finish white color, and I think it kind of goes with the look of this car. I got a little bit of a lighter graphics and stuff on the side, but nonetheless, it looks really, really good. Next up is Street Beast, and for Street Beast, we have the Velosa Racer, and this is the first edition color that they released of it. It's kind of some sort of like dinosaur type of thing that's on this little big engine right on the back right there. It's an interesting look to this casting. Um, I mean, if you're into these kind of weird animal fantasy castings, then yeah, for sure, it's a neat looking casting. And that one did get recolored right here in this type of color for it. So you can see the kind of contrast it's kind of like an opposite of the other color. Unique, different colored wheels on there. I haven't seen those colored wheels before. And you can see the little like fist or, or whatnot that it has kind of pushing out from the front, the claws maybe. Also from Street Beast is Duck and Roll. And check it out. It's a little like rubber ducky just on wheels. That's essentially what this car is. It's got a little engine in the back with some sort of like fan type thing. Big wheels on the rear with small ones in the front. And there is your rubber ducky type thing. It is plastic, obviously. It's not real rubber or anything. So we'll go ahead and throw him right up behind Velasa Racer right there. And then Duck and Roll did get recolored in this color right here. It's a like a green color to it. So there you go. You can have different t t colored uh, tires and wheels on this one as well. But Duck and Roll, just a really, really fun new fantasy casting for 2020. Next up is the Tuned series, and our first one is RV There Yet. One of the coolest, unique looking castings that we've seen from Hot Wheels for a very, very long time. Just check this out. It's a little car with like a camper van kind of attached onto the back of it. It is only four wheels, even though it looks like six. You can see right on the bottom right here, these aren't actually real wheels. They're just kind of imitation ones, but just a really, really cool, super fun new casting from the Tune series coming out for Hot Wheels. We'll go ahead and throw him up right there. And then it did get recolored in this blue color right here. So 
same thing, just a red one with a blue one. And there's also a new color that is for 2021, which you've seen in my previous videos. So there's actually three colors for this one in total so far. Then next up we do have the Manga Tuner. That's right, a brand new casting as well. And this one's kind of an imitation of like these Japanese tuner cars that they have for it, where they're kind of like totally whacked out. They've got like big front splitters and big spoilers and big exhausts on there. So what they did is they took one of those, then they tuned it out into Manga Tuner. And I, I really like Manga Tuner. I think it's a really cool casting. Super, super fun to have in the Hot Wheels lineup. We'll go ahead and throw him up there. He did get recolored also in this color. It's kind of like a magenta looking color for Manga Tuner and a nice bright interior for him. But there we go. I'm sure we're gonna get lots more colors of the Manga Tuner in 2021. And then we have the 1970 Volkswagen Baja Bug. And this one, as you can see, it's a tuned out one. So it's like super squished and bubbled out and stuff like that. But even the front end, it just looks like, like a happy car. And then it's got this big exhaust sticking out from the rear end right there, all chrome right on the base. So we'll go ahead and throw him up right there. And then he was recolored in a red. And there is our red recolor of the bug right there. It looks really, really neat. Cool looking wheel color to this one. So that's the 1970 Volkswagen Baja Bug. And moving on to track stars, we have the Hot Wheels Warp Speeder. And this is a fantasy casting that we get from Hot Wheels. Very, very unique looking design. It's like a single seater, as you can see right there. Got really cool looking wheels to go with it. And it just looks like a, a fast, futuristic, almost moon-like vehicle or some sort of concept car. Almost reminds me of the Ford Indigo way back in the 90s. You guys can Google that and see what that looks like but it kind of reminds me of that one pretty neat looking car though we'll go ahead and throw him up right behind the bug right there and it did get recolored in this blue colored variation of it so there we have the blue one same sort of style just the opposite paint job the blue paint job on there but hot wheels warp speeder and then we do have the forward force from the track stars series as well there is forward force and this almost looks like a combination of an off-road vehicle sports car kind of suv like like a a small sporty suv type i don't know what to say about this one it's kind of unique looking kind of looks a little bit like a space car as well, kind of like the Hot Wheels Warp Speeder, but nonetheless, that's our new casting. And it also did get recolored into this look right here. So if you wanna pick that one up, I don't have that one to show you on hand, but it's a really neat looking casting. And our last one is the Linster prototype from the X Racers series. So X Racer series, you can see they've always got like a see-through type of body on there. And this one's got some sort of like weird aerodynamic spoiler look to the rear end of it. I'm not too sure about that one, but it's a pretty new, unique casting all around Linster prototype. We'll just go ahead and throw him just right down there. And there you go, guys. There is all 51 of the new for 2020 Hot Wheels castings released for the 2020 series. Let me know in the comments section down below which one is your favorite 2021. And first up is the Nash. The Nash was the 2019 Hot Wheels Legends Tour winning car. And if you win the Hot Wheels Legends Tour, Hot Wheels will make your car into a real Hot Wheels casting. And this was the one. It's a really, really cool looking design car. It's kind of a squished looking little car with a big engine on it and then it's kind of unique because of these wheels that are on here that are really thin but I think it's a fun new design release to the Hot Wheels lineup. Next we have is Hyper Finn. Hyper Finn is kind of like a hyper car mixed with an F1 car. You can see the front end looks very very hyper car-ish and then you see the back and it's kind of small like an F1 car. You can see how my axles are kind of bent on it already. I mean, it's gone through a little bit here. It's a bit rough, but nonetheless, it's still kind of a neat looking Hot Wheels casting. X34 Land Speeder, and I believe this one is a Star Wars car. And you can see this one, it looks like a boat that turns into a car. I'm not really sure. I haven't seen this one in the movie myself personally, but it does look pretty neat. We've got like jet packs and stuff on the back of it. And then that kind of like Jetson type look for that windshield, but a neat looking casting to be released in the lineup. The tuned twin mill. This is a crazy looking car. It's a tuned out version of the twin mill classic casting. And obviously the twin mill has the two engines on there. And you can see the tuned cars have that big rear tire wheel combination and then the small 
small ones on the front. But nonetheless, it's an interesting card to see tuned. And you know what? I kind of like it. Barbie Dream Camper. This one in pink. Very, very fun looking cast. You can see this little piece comes out here. So if you have a Barbie Dream Camper is the full version for Barbie. It does kind of the same thing where it has this piece that comes out here. You can see it's got Barbie written on the side of it. Obviously, Barbie and Mattel are go two and two with Hot Wheels. You can see Barbie written on that side as well. We've got pink all around with the white interior, but I do think this is a fun casting. 2020 Jaguar F type from the Factory Fresh series. This one in blue, the original release of this one. I believe we have gotten one recolor of it already. I really like the details on the back end. It's a very cool looking car. When you see this one in real life and then you see it in the Hot Wheels casting, it looks very unique from the back end. Nice 10 spoke chrome wheels on this one. Great detail on the front end of this Jaguar as well. Dodge van from the Hot Wheels Drift series. And I never really thought that I would love a Dodge van so much, but this one I think is detailed so nicely. You can see the chrome all around it with this really cool looking color. And then look at the interior on here. We've got a little go-kart on the inside, all chromed out interior, just a, a fantastic detailed Dodge van. Like I said, never thought I'd ever like a Dodge van until I got this casting. Lancia Delta Integrale from the Baja Blazer series. This one released in white. We also did get it recolored in black, but I love the detail of this casting. You can see it from the front end right there. Look at those lights and everything look so cool. I love the white wheels on here. All the design and graphics on the side of it look really good. And then on the back, we do have that nice lip spoiler. We don't get this car in real life in North America, but I'm a big fan of it in a Hot Wheels casting. Porsche 935 from the HW Race Day series. You can see this one with the blue base. I believe we did get a red base variation of it as well. You can see it's got the Urban Outlaw all written on there. We got the 277 on the front, but overall it's a great designed car. I really like the big rear spoiler on this one. Lethal Diesel from the Track Stars series. And to be completely honest, I think this is one of the ugliest release castings of 2021. It's just, I don't know, it's like kind of like a crush looking car. The design is very boxy looking on it. It says it's a track star, so it will probably go through the loop pretty nicely, but nonetheless, it's just an ugly looking Hot Wheels, and I don't look forward to any recolors of this one. Head Gasket from the HW Daredevil series, and you can see this one. It's a big engine with like a head with a helmet on it. I think it's very, very unique looking of a casting. We've got a big plastic rear spoiler on here. We got the tuned out look. So it's got the massive rear wheels with the smaller front tires on there. But I think it's a very unique looking fantasy casting to the Hot Wheels lineup. See me rolling from Xperia Motors. And this one is very unique because it has this big roller on here, which is actually a dice. So you can see if you roll it, you can roll a different number right in there. So it's a very, very unique looking fantasy casting design. I think it's just something cool to add to the Hot Wheels lineup. 2021 Ford Bronco. This one released in blue and I love the blue look on this one. You can see it says Bronco right on the front end right there. Bronco on the side. We've got the spare wheel tire combination in the back. I love the raised up kind of wide body look of this car. It's a fantastic looking casting. I'm super excited it came to the lineup. 2006 Pontiac GTO from Factory Fresh. This one, it has like a drag pack on it so we can see on the back end it's got the the wheelie bars and it looks like a little parachute that's indented into here this is that burnt orange color which was kind of popular around the era that this car was released i'm not really a big fan of the color itself i'd like to see it in different colors we can see the nice big aggressive front end with those intakes on there raging express from the hw metro series this is a wild looking casting just look at the front end on this one all the craziness going on especially that this one is in chrome and we can see it's got some crazy pictures on the side of it and on this side as well it's just a wild looking casting but i'm excited i like this one i'd like to see some more colors released of it corvette c8r from hw race day series originally released in this nice looking yellow color it's the classic c8r color we can see it's got blacked out wheels on there big spoiler on the back of it we got that 
striping that goes down the center, but the Corvette C8, such a popular car in the last couple years, and I'm excited to have this one in our Hot Wheels lineup. 1967 Ford GT40 Mark IV from the HW Race Day Series. This one released in red. We did get a yellow one released as well. We have the white stripe that goes down the center with the number one on there. The GT40, obviously one of the most popular race cars back in the 1960s, and you can see how well designed and look these are. Very, very cool looking car. Absolutely love it. Nice to see this one in our Hot Wheels lineup. Car de Asada from the Fast Food Series. A really funny looking release. This is basically a taco. You can see it. It's got all the fillings and stuff on the inside. It's got the shell on the outside. It's got like, looks like lemon of some sort on the little plate right there. And the taco shells for your spoiler little chips right there. Just an absolutely wild Hot Wheels casting. I absolutely love it. I like these cars that they come out with, which are super unique. I mean, they're, they come somewhat collectible over time because it's just so different. Twinning and winning from HW Getaways series. This one in white it's got some massive rear mud tires on the back of it with the number three on the side and all types of graphics this is definitely a cool ATV off-road racer and I like it. I think it's fun. I think I'd like to see new colors released of this one. Custom small block from Xperia Motor Series and this car has a very very unique feature to it. It does have removable pieces on the top of it from the Mega Block Series of Mattel so you can put all different types of pieces on here. I'm sure it's compatible with Lego as well but we can just have these. We can move these pieces around right here if we want to. We just push it down. We'll put this one right back here. So it's just a very, very cool design. I have never seen anything like this before in the Hot Wheels lineup. This is definitely a great addition. Cosmic Coop from the Track Stars series. This one in green with some white trim highlights. And this is the classic Track Stars wheels on here. So this is gonna be a great car to go through the loops and play around with. It's actually quite clean looking. I do like how that windshield kind of comes up from the bottom and it looks right through the front end right there. And it's almost Lamborghini-esque front end on this one. This is not bad of a new fantasy car. Nissan R390 from the Factory Fresh series. This one in blue, we did get a red release of it as well. And you can see the great detail on the front end of this one. If we go around to the back end, you can see also looks fantastic. It's a very, very cool mid 90s supercar that was released. And you can see this one will have like cool doors on it and everything as well. I think the proportion to design of it is very 90-esque. I mean, in today's standard, it's probably not gonna be the best looking supercar. Devancinator, this all chrome variegation with a nice big rear spoiler on there chromed out red wheels on here it's kind of an interesting looking casting not really my favorite but it's an interesting look at this new fantasy rally baja crawler from hot wheels screen time this one is from the fast and furious spy racers it's got a matte finish to it and it's a very like crazy looking off-roader look at the bars on the back of this thing right here nice kind of like a wide body-ish design on here very aggressive front end on this one and all chrome on the base it's a nice new casting for 2021 mercedes-benz 500 e from factory fresh i love this four-door mercedes-benz check out the detail on the front end of that that nice grill the nice lights and all of that really cool glossy black finish to this one and even the back end you can see how detailed the lights and everything are and then it's got kind of like a little wide body look to it as well it's got like a nice lip right on the fenders right there but it's an all-around really cool looking mercedes ain't fair from Hot Wheels Metro series. Check this big bus out. We've got a nice bicycle in the front end right there. It's got a nice open top style thing right here so you can look right into it. And from the side, it looks like a low rider bus. Pretty crazy looking. And then the back, we have the engine and everything just right back there. And then your base is a nice gray base on this one. 1994 Audi Avant RS2 from Factory Fresh. I love the blue on this car. It looks so good. You can see the classic logo just right in the front right there. Great details for the 
headlights and all of that. This one made famous because Doug DeMuro, the other YouTuber, he has this car in real life and it's cool to see it in a Hot Wheels variation and he collected it as well. Check out the nice detail of the lights on the back right there and from the side, it's a very, very cool looking design for this wagon. Giraffinator from X Racers and the X Racer cars you can see right through them. So you can see the nice chrome interior on this one. Very, very cool looking right here. We got the nice chrome front grille on this one. This one looks like a kind of like a NASCAR but the truck variation of it, it's got a really big lip spoiler on the rear right here, but I think it's a pretty neat looking car. Standard cart from Hot Wheels Screen Time. This is Mario's cart right here. And we have seen this particular vehicle as a Mario series car with the character on it, but we haven't seen it just with the cart itself. So it's kind of cool that they brought just the cart itself to a main line Hot Wheels. I wonder if we're gonna see Luigi or or Princess Peach's cart come in future castings. Ducati Scrambler Hot Wheels Edition from the Baja Blazer series. And every year we do get a few different motorbikes. And this time we've got this Ducati Scrambler. And it looks like it's got the moon eyes on it right there. That's pretty neat. It's a metal body on here with the plastic wheels. So it does have actually some nice weight to it. I'm not a huge fan of this style of motorbike. I like sport bikes a little bit better, but Ducati's themselves are quite collectible. Turtle Shell from Street Beast, and this is a very, very unique fantasy casting. It, well, it's called the Turtle Shell, so obviously it's a turtle, as you can see right here, but it's got the wheel and tire combination on there. You can see the turtle's head right at the front right there. Very, very interesting looking casting. There's your exhaust that comes out the rear of this one, but you guys comment down below what you think of the Turtle Shell. 2020 Toyota GR Supra from HW Speed Graphics Series. This one was definitely long awaited and we're super excited to finally receive it in hand. You can see the cool looking front end on this one. Love the wide body stance and look to this one. We got a nice spoiler on the back of it. Blacked out wheel tire combination on there. And then not a lot of stamping for the details on the back, but just an overall great looking design car. And we're surely gonna get some new recolors of this Supra. Batmobile from the Batman series. We've gotten lots of different variations of Batmobiles and this is our newest one right here. It kind of looks like a like a charger, but then it does have like that crazy engine in the back, just a massive looking engine in the back. It's a satin finish to it, so it's not quite matte, but it's got a little bit of a shimmer on it. So it's quite the interesting color combination on this Batmobile. Muscle and blowing. Check out this cool looking casting right here. Love the look to this one. It's kind of a mixture of like a Dodge Viper and some sort of other sports car. It looks like it has a massive engine on the front end of this one. Definitely aerodynamic looking. Every time I look at the side paint job of this though, for some reason I see Homer Simpson. Does that not look like Homer Simpson just on the side right there? <laughs> it's kind of funny looking though. Nice big diffuser on the bottom right here. And it's got that crazy cool gray matte finish to it. Custom 1970 Honda N600 from the HW J import series, Japan imports, as you can see. This is a super, super tiny car. It's like smaller than a Mini Cooper almost right here. And you can see the design on the back. It does look very Mini Cooper-esque, but still, it's a neat looking car. I've never seen one of these in real life. I'd love to see a small little Honda like this. It'd be super, super fun to drive around too. Disney Steamboat from HW Screen Time. This is obviously Mickey Mouse's Steamboat boat right here. A very, very unique casting to come to the Hot Wheels lineup. And on the bottom right here, you can see it's got this wheel right here, which just moves these pieces. So we can scroll that wheel and those pieces will move. Same thing on this side right here. We got the flag on the back, the steamboat, little fans on the top right there. But wow, interesting car to see come to the Hot Wheels lineup. LB Works Lamborghini Huracan Coupe 
from the HW Speed graphics series, what a crazy looking Lamborghini. You can see the Mr. Mike's logo on the front. Just look at the wide body stance on this car right here. We see it from the side as well. Great looking kit on this Lamborghini Huracan. We got the blacked out wheels. We got that nice looking cool lip on there. Big rear diffuser, big wide body look on this one. This has got kind of like a satin finish to it, but it's got a camo look to it. I'd be super excited to see this one painted in some different colors in the future. I'm sure we will. Liberty Walk Silhouette Works Nissan GTR R35 from the HWJ Imports. Check this one out. One of the coolest release castings of the 2021 Hot Wheels series. I absolutely love it. I think they've done a fantastic job at this one just check out the details on the back that spoiler on there the wide body look on this one is absolutely amazing we're gonna get some great new recolors of this but this blue color i think it is perfect water bomber from the hw rescue series check this one out it's an airplane that is meant to go down and scoop up water and then take it over and then potentially put out like fires and stuff like that. But absolutely crazy that they brought this as a Hot Wheels casting on here. I don't know, what do you guys think of all these airplanes that they release? I feel like every year we get a few different new airplanes. GT Scorcher from HW Race Team. Check this one out. It's got a matte finish blue paint job to it. I mean, to be honest, from the side, it's not the greatest looking car. It kind of looks like an 80s stock car per se. You can see that big spoiler on the back and I don't know what those are supposed to be. If it's supposed to be like speakers or something, something pretty crazy. Kind of weird diffuser on the front end. We got this really big lip on here and it looks like we've got like some sort of opening. It's a very, very different looking Hot Wheels car. 1999 Honda Civic Type R EK9 from the HWJ import series. And I'm not a big Honda Civic fan in real life, but I actually think this car looks really, really cool. I think they've done a great job on it. I really like the white wheels on cars. I think it looks really neat. Although in real life, it's probably not gonna last too well. It'll get really dirty with brake dust and all that. Great details on the front end of this car. We've got the Honda logo. We've got the stamping. We've got the red interior on this one and on the back. Nice looking lights on there. Very, very cool. Great detail on the round for this Honda Civic Type R. Nissan Leaf Nismo RC02 from HW Green Speed right here. Electric race car of a Nissan Leaf. And I was kind of excited when this car was released to the Hot Wheels lineup. But now that I have it, it's it's really nothing too special. I'm not a huge fan of it. I do like the spoiler on there. Not much detail on the rear end. It's just very, very flat and plain. Maybe it's meant to be like that. I'm not too sure. A little bit of a diffuser on there. Mostly darkened out on the top. But I'm not too sure how long this is going to last in the Hot Wheels lineup for recolors. X-Jet from HW Screen Time. Unfortunately, we see a lot of these ones left on the pegs in store. You can see a lot of people are not really a fan of the Jets when they're trying to collect Hot Wheels cars. But this Jet does look kind of cool. I do like it. If I was a fan of collecting jets and airplanes and stuff like that this is definitely one that i would like but in the hot wheels lineup i feel like ones like these maybe just don't belong we'd like to see more cars less airplanes one of the coolest casting releases for 2021 the 1994 bugatti eb 110 ss ss stands for super sport as this is the variation of this one right here and this one is very, very cool. Very classic early 90s supercar. Great detail on this one on the back end right there. From the side, it's very, very nicely proportionate. I really like this blue color. We've seen this blue color on a lot of cars recently. A lot of 2021 release cars, we've gotten this almost the same blue color. But I love this car. I'd love to see some new recolors of it as well. Toyota Land Cruiser 80 from HW Hot Trucks great looking Toyota Land Cruiser. We're seeing this one released in a Hot Wheels casting. I feel like we should have got this a long time ago because this is a very, very popular car worldwide. And it's nice to see this one in the Hot Wheels lineup, especially in this new trendy kind of grayish color that we're seeing in a lot of new cars. But what do you guys think of this Land Cruiser? Fusion Busta from HW Flame Series. This one is kind of like a bone shaker type release 
police car. You can see it's a very aggressive big front engine, almost like a Mohawk right here for the front end of it. It's a very wacky design. I'm not really that fond of it. I mean, I could live without it. I like the bone shaker, but when they release all these alternative bone shakers, I'm not really, I don't think so, no. <laughs> McLaren F1. And for any of you guys that know me, you know that in real life, the McLaren F1 is my absolute favorite car of all time. And I'm super, excited that we did finally get it as a road car variation. We have had the McLaren F1 GTR for several years now, but I love the road going variation of the McLaren F1 and I'm so happy they finally brought it as a Hot Wheels. I can't wait to see what recolor releases there are. Aston Martin V12 Speedster from HW Exotics. Just check out this split seating on this one. No front window on here. These new speedsters are becoming very popular. A lot of manufacturers, Ferrari, McLaren, releasing their own variation of speedsters. And I think this Aston Martin looks fantastic. It's interesting to see this one come as a Hot Wheel. Sand Burner. Unfortunately, I don't have this one in hand to show you, but this Hot Wheels race team variation looks pretty cool. It's kind of an interesting look of a casting. It's got like an off-road look with a big spoiler on it. And another one is the Range Rover Classic. We've seen a lot of different Range Rover variations come to the Hot Wheels lineup, and now we have an older body styled Range Rover. I'm excited to see more recolors of this one. Tesla Cybertruck, and although not officially a 2021 Hot Wheels casting, it was released in the 2021 mainlines due to the global pandemic it was supposed to be released in 2020, but there was a little bit of a delay on it, but we finally got it as a 2021 car, and I think it's fantastic. Another Hot Wheels casting that was delayed for 2021 was the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. I love this car. I think it looks great. They've done such a fantastic job as a Hot Wheels casting, and this red paint on here looks great for this Porsche Taycan. Can. And that's gonna wrap up this video, guys, in the comment section down below. Let me know which was your number one favorite Hot Wheels casting release for 2021. Don't forget to hit that like, follow, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.